be so desperate for kids, they are not going to restrict it to the SAT and ACT. And one final thought on that, uh, with regards to this coming educational bubble. Um, right now, a, a year and a half ago, 10 different universities in this country, in big ones, including Duke and Harvard and Stanford and Yale, they hired a six-figure coordinator whose job it was to simply recruit homeschool kids. Each of those universities in the last year and a half hired people whose sole job is to go after homeschool kids. I think that it's a threat, it's an idle threat. We're reaching the point rapidly where the bubble's gonna burst, universities who've overextended themselves will want students. The student loan bubble's gonna have to burst. So what's gonna happen is, is that there's gonna be all sorts of room for alternate ways to the universe. I believe that. And I guess I would close by saying, it, as we cannot allow the threat of something to come down the road to prevent us from educating our kids the best possible way we can now. If the only reason we're on board with this garbage is because 10 years from now when my fifth grader is getting ready for college, she might not get into the college of her choice because the SAT is common core, that is a bad, that's how, that kind, conceding to that kind of pressure. Now granted, will most moms and dads do it? I don't know. But again, I'm encouraged by the fact that this issue has more of them motivated than I've ever seen any other issue.